What's going on everyone? It's Sean from All Things EV and I'm back with another video about how the coronavirus will accelerate electric vehicle manufacturing and here's why. Like most people around the globe, we've all been following the impacts of the coronavirus as it travels from country to country and continent to continent and it has been exceptionally sad to see how countries have been locked down and restaurants and bars have been closed and air travel restricted and it's given me a lot of thought about how companies like Tesla who are fully EV are handling this. This is a significant disruption of a manufacturing process that truly is on the global scale. It's a global supply chain and a lot of companies from around the world are relying upon to produce these electric vehicles. Now, the one thing that is particularly interesting to me is the difference between the internal combustion engine and the electric vehicle. For an automaker to produce an internal combustion engine, they rely very little on gasoline and the prices of gasoline, though the prices of fuel can impact how people adopt vehicles and the types of vehicles. Automakers can still sell internal combustion engine vehicles to consumers if they're willing to pay. Conversely, automakers who are making electric vehicles rely completely on the electric vehicles fuel the batteries that are in the battery pack. And if automakers don't have access to these batteries, the fuel that powers these vehicles, they can't sell them. So it exposes this huge risk to companies like Tesla and any other manufacturers who are planning on going fully on with electric vehicles. This to me creates a huge opportunity for any company who's serious about electric vehicles to decentralize this supply chain, in particular the raw materials and where the raw materials are produced. At the moment, there's a large centralization of raw material manufacturing and production for these battery cells in Asia. And as we know, Asia was hit pretty hard with this corona virus. I think this builds a pretty strong case for automakers giving some serious consideration to decentralizing that supply chain, having a little bit more control on a continent by continent basis. And if we see a pandemic like what we're seeing with the coronavirus or any other major disruption in a global supply chain, it will significantly impede any automaker producing electric vehicles. This is why I think it makes tons of sense to as much as possible focus raw materials and the production of battery cells on a continent by continent basis. Very similar to what we're seeing Tesla do with gigafactories in each continent. Though they haven't said this explicitly, to me, this insulates them as a manufacturer producing electric vehicles just a little bit more if they can source their raw materials from the same continent that they're also building their vehicles. There's another aspect that I think companies like Tesla who are highly motivated by the environmental piece of things will consider, and that is the carbon impact of mining the raw materials and then shipping them all around the globe to process and then be put into batteries. If raw materials, for example, are mined in Chile, they're put on a boat in the raw form and then shipped all the way to China for processing. From there, once the raw materials are processed, they're ready to be used and put into batteries. So from China, they'll probably go to Korea or Japan or the United States, where in the case of Tesla at the moment, they're putting them in these battery cells at the Gigafactory in Sparks, Nevada. This has a huge carbon impact on the world. The amount of fuel that it takes to ship these raw materials, as well as process the raw materials and then send them to the place where they're going to be put into batteries is pretty significant. And if companies who are producing these batteries want to reduce the carbon impact that electric vehicles have, it makes a ton of sense to try and source as many of those raw materials on the same continent that they're also producing the vehicles. 
There's also a significant cost reduction in shortening the distance from mined raw materials to actual electric vehicle. If those raw materials have to travel a smaller distance from mining to actual electric vehicle production, there is going to be a cost benefit there and hopefully that there in turn benefits the consumer who's purchasing the vehicle by the cost reduction of the overall product. In summary, if automakers are going to get really serious about producing electric vehicles, they really need to consider decentralizing that global supply chain and having as much of the raw materials and production of the battery pack on the same continent that they're also producing the vehicles. There's an insulation part of it that helps protect them to pandemic and other global disruptions in supply chain. There's also a, an environmental aspect, an environmental lift by shortening the distance between mining the raw materials and the final product, the electric vehicle. And lastly, there's also a cost benefit as well. The shorter distance those raw materials have to travel should, in theory, mean that it costs the company, it costs the automaker less money to get those raw materials into batteries and into vehicles. A pandemic like what we're seeing with the coronavirus does build a really strong case for not being as reliant on a global supply chain, but trying to decentralize some of those things and therefore minimize the disruption in automotive electric vehicle production. This is Sean Mitchell, All Things EV. A big shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thanks for believing in the channel and I'll catch everyone on the next video.